For a city with more than 3,000 years of history, a city that had served as the imperial Chinese capital for millennia, a city that's home to the 2,000-year-old Terracotta Army, this 654-year-old city wall of Xi'an is a relatively new kid on the block. In fact, it is a pretty impressive block. This 8.5-mile-long city wall is the largest and the only complete ancient city wall in China. The heritage site is in the tentative list of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. It encloses an area of 4.4 square miles of Old Xi'an city center in a rectangular circuit. Flying high over the city wall of Xi'an, it is hard to imagine that the earthen body of the wall from the west gate to the south gate is actually more than 1,200 years old. It was originally built in 582 during the Sui dynasty, reused as the wall of the imperial city of Chang'an during the Tang dynasty from 618 to 907, and continuously used during the Ming dynasty. The construction of Ming Dynasty Xi'an City Wall kicked off in 1370, the original Tang Dynasty Imperial City Wall was incorporated in the wall's western and southern parts. The south section of the Tang Dynasty Imperial City Wall was extended further to the east. The eastern and northern parts of the wall were enlarged to today's scale. Hundreds of thousands of men worked eight years on this massive edifice till its completion in 1378. This is the South Gate. First built in 582 during the Sui Dynasty, it was one of the gates opened on the southeast imperial city of Sui and Tang Dynasty Chang'an. In March 1369, the Ming Dynasty army occupied the Mongolian Yuan Dynasty city of Fengyuan and changed the name to Xian. In 1370, the construction of Ming Dynasty Xian city wall began under the instructions of Zhu Yuanzhang, the first emperor of Ming Dynasty, with the idea to build high walls, stock abundant food supplies, and take time to claim the throne. The Sui and Tang Dynasty gate was enlarged, and it became the most important gate of Ming Dynasty Xi'an. Today, the South Gate is the oldest and grandest of the wall's four main gates. The South Gate is a showcase of the defense fortification during the Ming Dynasty. It was constructed with a moat, a drawbridge, an embrasured watchtower, an archery tower, and a main gatehouse. The moat is 148 feet wide and 16 feet deep. A drawbridge was built on the moat which served as the only entrance to the city on the south. The original embrasured watchtower was destroyed by fire in 1926 during the Civil War, and was restored in 2014. This was done after a careful historical review of documents related to the historical features that existed before it was damaged. Standing some distance in front of the main gatehouse, the archery tower is so named because of its rows of archery placements, from which defenders could fire projectiles on attackers. The original Ming Dynasty archery tower was destroyed by fire in the Civil War of 1926. It was restored in 2014, Auxiliary walls, running perpendicularly to the main wall, connect the archery tower with the main gatehouse, enclosing a rectangular area called Barbican. The Barbican serves as a buffer zone, should the first gate be breached. Its Chinese name, Jar Walls, refers to the intended strategy whereby attackers coming through the archery tower would be trapped in the Barbican, open to attack from all sides. Hence the Chinese idiom, catch a turtle in the jar, meaning go after an easy prey. One of the highlights at the South Gate is a feast of interesting performances showcasing the charm of the bygone times of Xi'an. Called Tang Dynasty Welcome Ceremony, its debut was made in 1996. It is a faithful reenactment of a classical welcoming ceremony in the style of Tang Dynasty, with warriors in Tang Dynasty golden armors, maidens in beautiful Tang Dynasty costumes. Red lanterns hung from the lampposts, and bright silk banners bearing images of mythical birds of good fortune. The former U.S. President Bill Clinton was the first foreign leader to attend the ceremony in 1998. Xi'an City Wall was once one of the most impressive military defense systems in the world. The wall stands 39 feet high, its base is 49 to 59 feet wide, while it is 39 to 46 feet wide at the top. 
The longest distance Ming Dynasty arrow could shoot was 195 feet, therefore protruding ramparts were built at intervals of 390 feet, projecting from the main wall, to allow soldiers to shoot enemies trying to climb the wall. A total of 98 protruding ramparts are found. Towers are built on top of protruding ramparts allowing defenders to have a bird's eye view over both the city and its surroundings. There are parapets on the outer side of the wall, built with 5,984 krenels. The city wall of Xian is rectangular in shape. This is the southwest corner. Unlike the other three corners which are square-shaped, the protruding rampart of the southwest corner is round. The reason might be that this rampart is a vestige of the Mongolian Yuan dynasty. The Mongols live in portable, round tent, called Mongolian yurt. When Mongols ruled Xian in 1312, the corners of the city wall were built in a round shape to resemble their round tent. In 1370, when the wall was enlarged during the Ming dynasty, only this round-shaped corner was left, and the other three were built in a square shape. Located outside the city wall, the moat played an important defensive role in times of war. It kept the invaders at a distance and prevented them from getting close to the wall. Attackers had to construct bridges in order to reach the top of the wall, thus exposing themselves to the defenders of the city. In 1370, the construction of Xian city wall began with shovels on the moat first, then earth was moved to the side of wall, rammed with quicklime and glutinous rice extract. After eight years of hard work, the wall was finally completed in 1378. This is the West Gate. Like the South Gate, this gate was first built in 582 during the Sui Dynasty. It was used as one of the gates opened on the imperial city during the Tang Dynasty. The current buildings were constructed between 1374 and 1378, during the Ming Dynasty. This is the square-shaped northwest corner of Xian City Wall. The golden-roofed buildings located inside this part of the city wall is the only Tibetan Buddhist temple in Shangxi province, called Guangren Temple. It was first established by Emperor Kangxi of Qing Dynasty in 1705. During the Qing Dynasty, a large number of Tibetan Buddhist leaders, including Dalai Lama and Panchen Lama had to give an audience to the emperor in Beijing. It would be a long and arduous trip from Tibet to Beijing. Therefore, this Tibetan Buddhist temple was built in Xi'an to accommodate Dalai Lama, Panchen Lama, and other living Buddhas from Tibet. As a sacred Tibetan Buddhist place of worship, the temple hums with mystery and spiritual energy. The most valuable object in the temple is a golden representation of Sakyamuni that rests upon a Tang Dynasty pedestal. There is only one other like it, housed at the Jokhang Temple in Lhasa. The North Gate was built in 1370 during the Ming Dynasty. In 1911, the barracks of the Manchu army was located inside the North Gate. The Gate Tower served as the arsenal. Fierce battle was fought here at the North Gate between the Revolutionary and Manchu Army during the Chinese Revolution of 1911. The Gate Tower was burnt to the ground. This revolution ended China's last imperial dynasty, the Manchu-led Qing Dynasty, and led to the establishment of the Republic of China. This is the square-shaped northeast corner of Xian City Wall. It stands between modern Xi'an and the old city center. Outside the wall, high-rises and highways reveal new wealth. Inside the wall, the 4.4-square-mile-old Xi'an comprises low, ancient buildings. No skyscrapers are allowed inside the city wall. Landmarks such as the Bell Tower, the Drum Tower, the Stone Forests, the Great Mosque and Muslim Quarter are all located within. This is the East Gate, also called Changla Gate. 
Changla means endless joy. It was built in 1374 during the Ming Dynasty. When Li Zicheng, the leader of the peasant uprising at the end of the Ming Dynasty, attacked Xian from the East Gate. He told his army that if emperors receive endless joy, people will long suffer. The gate towers were burnt to the ground by rebels. Both the archery tower and gate tower were rebuilt during the Qing dynasty. This is the square-shaped southeast corner of Xian city wall. Today, the 39 to 46 feet wide top of the wall has become a city playground. Walking and biking tours atop the wall have become popular with locals and tourists. It takes about 4 hours to walk this 8.5 mile long wall. The bumpy, 2 hour ride offers a unique perspective on the two faces of Xi'an. The annual Xi'an City Wall International Marathon is a local highlight. Since 1993, thousands of athletes from China and overseas gather on the first Sunday in November to compete on this special track. Surviving years of wars and the vicissitudes of dynasties, the wall was nearly demolished in the 1950s when the 22-mile-long Nanjing City Wall and 17-mile-long Beijing City Wall were destroyed. At the time, city walls were seen by Chairman Mao as a feudal legacy that impeded social advances promised by the Great Leap Forward. Xi'an City Wall was saved in part by a renowned historian who opposed the wall's destruction and successfully lobbied then Secretary General of the State Council Xi Zhongxuan, father of current Chinese President Xi Jinping, to spare the wall. In 1983, the city wall of Xi'an was refurbished as the closed-circuit network that exists now.